We got brutal on the scene, wicked and mean. You know the jump shot clean, keep it a beam. And in the lane, baby, flow the soft with a lean. And when you put me on the block, call me the dream. Ooh, dope. Ooh, dope. It's your boy. You don't know brutal, same on the scene, wicked and mean with a next video for y'all man so don't forget y'all we gonna get straight to it straight to it man five seconds to like up the video a lot of people been asking me for this man and you know i got y'all with the dribble tutorial all right so um just five seconds man make sure and hit that like right now y'all i know y'all got your boy man all right so let's get to it y'all real quick um let's start off with the dribbling moves so these are my dribbling animations for my point four. Remember, I got a point four, of course, and I did go with Magic Johnson because I was so impressed at how he was in the demo. So I decided to go with the dribble style Magic Johnson, uh, moving crossover two, uh, moving behind the back pro three, normal six, moving spin, moving hesitation pro five. I'm gonna try to change this around, but I really like this so far. But y'all know I like to try out a bunch of moves and kind of thing, but. This is what I'm working with right now, and I'm getting a lot of great moves with him. Um, six size up, Kobe Bryant, of course. You all know what it is for that step back, for that um, kind of between the legs spam move. Really nice move. Um, park size up. I, I don't really care about this, to be quite honest. Um, basic size up package, Pro 6. Size up SK package, Pro 4. And last but not least, triple threat style, normal. Four, all right so these are my dribbling move right so let's get to the tutorial real quick man all right the best way i see to do the dribble thing is probably to go in ball machine so let's go in here real quick all right so let's get it y'all so we gonna start with the basics the basics the basics the crossover simple crossover you gotta tap the right stick up that's weird to remember tap the right stick up but you won't get used to it soon enough you normally we used to tap in the left or right we just tap the right stick up for a simple crossover now if you want to do a little extended one you tap the right stick up while holding down the trigger the trigger is like a modifier right now when you triple you see you get a little slower but you gain a little bit more extension on the crossover here it is right? see a little hop at the end of it right um, same thing with the between the leg is between the leg this time you just tap the right stick the opposite ball hand opposite ball hand opposite ball hand opposite ball hand very simple now if you hold down the right trigger do the same thing look a little extension on it a little extension on it a little hop a little hop on it a little hop on it right now the behind the back is diagonal back opposite ball hand very simple very simple very simple y'all and look look when you hold down the right trigger very simple y'all a little extension like a little escape hezzy 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 run down the court see hezzy Right, when you're going forward, just tap tap to the towards the ball hand. Just tap the right stick towards ball hand for the hezzy. There we go. Very simple. Very simple, y'all. Right. So I mean, those are all the same. Of course, you know the size up right now. Hold the right stick up there and do the size up. That's the Kobe right now. The good thing about the size up, you could go forward with it. See the forward. You could go backwards with it. You could actually go left with it by holding the right stick up and just moving that left stick. Or you could go right with it. See? See? Really, really nice moves, y'all. All right. All right. The next move I want to share with y'all, man. And this is very simple. A lot of people don't know how to do this, of course. Um, all you got is hold down the right stick to the opposite direction, like an opposite behind the back. If you hold down like that, look what you have on you say. No, that's not what opposite direction, opposite diagonal back. <laughs> like you're doing a behind the back.
very simple what it's like behind the back diagonal back diagonal but you gotta like hold it there see that a lot of people don't know that size up right there behind the back size up and it could start off some good moves as well you know what i mean all you got is hold diagonal back opposite ball head and they're gonna pull off this move very simple y'all very simple trust me man all right now the next one i want to show y'all is the um remember the 360 the 360 a lot of people do the spin move the kind of spin move fake all you gotta do while going in one direction let's say i'm going to the right right now right now while i'm going to the right i am going to spin the right stick clockwise and hold once you hold the left stick in the direction you will get that move and the left side is anti-clockwise so you go into the left side now you spin it anti-clockwise the right side you spin it clockwise and hold it in the direction um the left side you spin it anti-clockwise and you hold it in that direction very simple move a lot of people are uh, doing this and you know like it's a big deal but eh, very simple to pull off very simple to pull off you just gotta make sure and hold the stick in the right direction see so it's basically exactly what the moves look like that's what i like about the game it's very easy to figure out just exactly what it look like he's spinning but he's still going in that direction exactly what it looks like to do that kind of spin move fake right there very simple now for the between behind the back between the leg kind of fake move this is one of my favorite moves while going in that direction in forward sprinting forward you gotta tap the right stick diagonal back opposite ball hand then tap the right stick immediately push the right stick back in the same direction here it is i love that move right there i love that move right there y'all such an easy move to pull off now remember you have to i think you have to be able to speed boost to pull off this move because usually if you got a slower build they won't be able to pull it off but once we, they're able to speed boost that's when once they're able to speed boost that's when they really um starting to they could execute this moves this move right here very 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 deadly move i'm telling you all y'all going on fast break and um like you could just combo up like crazy although i'll do that kobe oh y'all see that right stick y'all see that right stick though all right so yeah okay so the next thing i want to show you all is the semi spin real quick right now that's very simple the ball is um put the right stick where the ball hand is and all you gotta do is rotate like a quarter circle up that's it a lot of people spam this yeah you could literally spam this very simple um same thing for the next side if it's in that hand put the right stick in the direction where the ball is at semicircle up very effective move a lot of people use this move man all right very simple but very effective move again all right so it's important to note man i ain't gonna front the dribbling moves that might be a little bit more overpowered this year because this year you don't need to use a lot of the turbo y'all even if you look at the momentum look at the momentum right now i'm not touching the turbo but you could still momentum dribble you see momentum you could still momentum get back get back that's why i hate this court but you could still momentum just by tapping the right stick to the opposite ball hand and immediately following with the left stick in the same direction see see that so it's very simple to momentum this year um no need to touch there it is no need y'all no need at all to touch the the tobo just tap the right stick once again in the direction of the opposite direction of the ball hand and immediately follow with the left stick momentum very simple um let me show you all how to do the behind the back that they took out last year they brought it back this year again very simple again you push the left stick in the opposite direction forward diagonal opposite directional forward diagonal so the ball is in the right hand right now so i'm gonna push the left stick top left and immediately push the right stick opposite direction back right oh that boy there you go right and you could actually spam it you see you could actually spam it right once you get the timing right what the move i like to do is this one right here you um from behind the back and just snap it back that's the move i really like to pull out of it 
and to pull that off is very simple of course you do the behind the back and the crossover so you do the same behind the back push push the left stick up forward opposite ball hand while i'm pushing the right stick back um diagonal opposite ball hand and immediately doing a crossover that move is deadly y'all all right that'll set up so much thing to come back here you see that oh that was way off <laughs> you know so you could set up a lot doing that move right there of course i'm probably going to slow it down so y'all could see what i'm doing again all right one more move i want to show y'all before we really move on to getting more in the advanced realm is the hops the the um step back the hop back move right here to create space very nice move of course you could link your move to it. look i'm gonna link the half circle cool. you can link so much thing to it it's crazy y'all i'm telling y'all link so much stuff to it it's crazy right but that step back um that hop back is very simple you gotta just tap the right stick down when going in that direction and look at this like you literally all you gotta do is just tap the turbo for a quick short time just to start the boost but you don't have to hold a lot of people hold the turbo all the way through you don't check out the speed same speed same speed so you don't have to use as much turbo this year just just to, for a quick change of direction to start the run and then release the turbo make a tap that's all you need that's all y'all need man that's that's the, the the most important thing about this year dribbling trust me very simple all right so let's move on to a little bit more some combinations in there that will help you all out and then i'll leave it to y'all man because one thing about this this system is it's all up to you like whatever you think you could really execute because it's so responsive it's so easy and not as glitchy as previous ones i think it might be a little bit op but let's get to that real quick now right now you got all the tools needed to combo up and do what you want the good thing about this game is that they give us so much freedom that you don't have to be copy and paste y'all trust me there's a freedom to it that you could just create whatever you're thinking about based on the situation um i'm gonna try right now i'll kind of the step back the hop back to create space into a semi spin into the behind the back between the leg fade move into a spin move into a fade right so let's start it up So as, as I tell y'all, it's it's up to y'all whatever you want. Like just think it and execute it, whatever you want. Just have fun with it, man. Don't be copy and paste or go and watch people's videos for the combination. I'm in this video. I'm giving you all the tools to just do whatever. Like I'm gonna give you all the tools. Like th that happens when you try the spin move too much. <laughs> like when you try the double spin. Yeah, I, I'm trying to find a good execute uh, link for that one. But yeah, just go with like you got so much options or like so much options right now it's crazy so much options so much options. i'll tell you so much options right now y'all it's crazy what y'all could do with these sticks in terms of creating in terms of the freedom like i'll be going crazy sometime the good thing about this though it's actually much easier to defend it kobe it's so much easier to defend it um if someone is dribbling they you could steal the ball unlike previous years where the dribble out would just dribble through and, and and like hit off people legs and stuff so you gotta still have some control with all of it you know what i'm saying but you could still definitely link up everything and it's so easy y'all it's so easy y'all i just have like i have fun coming up with new ways to use these moves and stuff that, that i know how to use like i just come up with crazy stuff just 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 to have fun with it man i'm really having fun with the driven moves this year um you see like they took off the shackles and they still make it a little bit more realistic you see like when they had the shackles on everyone was copy and paste this year 
y'all got no reason to copy everything someone does all right so hopefully y'all utilize these tools to the full ability and you know give your boy some love man make sure and like the video if this you know i made it easy for y'all to understand a lot of people hit me up bro, when you're dropping the dribble tutorial when you're dropping your dribble tutorial when you're dropping your dribble moves i got everything in this video so hopefully this video helped y'all out don't forget first time to the channel make sure like the video share the video and hit your boy a sub if it's not your first time like the video share the video you never know who's gonna be informed y'all your boy seem one love respect bless up Peace. Peace, 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 peace. Had to make sure my fingers get in the camera. <laughs>